right. So, Evan, your question is, a lot of people see the top arm being straight. There's nothing wrong with the top arm being straight. Nothing at all. I'm just telling you, you're going to get more efficiency out of your stroke by utilizing the top arm, utilizing another muscle. Because what happens is, if my top arm is straight, you can see where the blade hits the water, right here. Okay? I get it's just straight mechanics. I get four feet of travel with my blade this way, right? Right. Okay, now, if I bend Try to mark my... it with the box. Okay. Grab the bo mark it with the box. Just mark it this way. Okay. Okay. So, if I'm standing here and I keep, and I, I'm going to stand in a position where I, I'm, this is, this is my reach right here. I'm hitting the water right here where that okay. grip is, okay? Now, when I, when I take my top arm and I, well, here's the top arm straight, comfortable. Now I take my top arm and now I'm pulling from here. Now I take my top arm and I bend it here. Not only, not only does it allow me to um, uh, get more, more reach by almost 13 to 14 inches, but it also allows me to get more twist. See what happens? Mm -hmm. If I'm straight like this, I, it's, I can't twist, see? Mm -hmm. I can't twist the shoulders, but if I go like this, I can twist the shoulders. Look how much more reach I get. I'm getting that much more reach through the water. So do you do that on a, would you do that on a outrigger canoe? Yes. The top arm bend too? Yes. Okay. But there are different paddles. And I'm telling you, this, I would say the most efficient, best paddlers in the world are Tahitians. You can, you can fight me on that one, but they kick everybody's ass. Okay? And I just had the top three-time world champion Tahitian one-man paddler here in Hawaii with me for a week. And we did nothing but share ideas. And what he, and Tahitians do the same thing. A lot of top arm. A lot of top arm. And what we do is, the Hawaiian stroke, what we did was we copied the Tahitians 15 years ago with their Pinay stroke and the top arm like this. And we threw in some more of our Hawaiian twist and reach. So what we did, we top-armed and reached, and then we added more like that. The Tahitians are like this. Okay? The Hawaiian stroke that we learned was a cross between our old Hawaiian stroke, which was... Let me use it. Uh, okay. Our old Hawaiian stroke, which was to the gunnels, and then back like this. That was the whole... That was the Hawaiian stroke of the old days. Way down... Pull up. Way down, pull up. Tahitians are like this. So what we did is we combined the both. We put twist and bend and drop arm. Get a little of both. You can't get the you can't get the repetitions of just top arm. But what happens is with the stand-up board, you want a combination of repetition and strength, which is what the bend causes. So Again, the Tahitians call it a piné stroke. And it's, and it's here. So this this compresses boards. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It freaking works. You still go through the water, but the mechanics of what's going on is just compressing the board. <gasps> or do you want the board to skim like this? God. So when when I'm noticing you paddling, your top arm looks like your thumb is actually up, like you're holding a a gun kind of so what's up with that well what I do is when I'm paddling I you try to think about um, the reason you switch sides is so that you can rest some muscles and work out other muscles and give them breaks here and there mm -hmm. so same holds true with your hand when you're pulling really hard you're gonna have to have a hard grip right and so what happens is when I'm holding the top of the palm grip most of my force on the grip is with my thumb Okay, and I try to rest my fingers. Okay, I rest my fingers. Now, when I go to hold the shaft, I relax the thumb and put all the pressure on my fingers. Okay, show so me now that my thumb hands. gets to rest. Now my thumb gets to rest, and my fingers are doing all the work. Now up here, my fingers get to rest, and my thumb works. So I'm alternating things. If you just grip it like super hard, like choke the chicken, <laughs> you know, don't choke the chicken. I mean, you know, 
there's you can learn so if you get in sore hands or something like that it's because you have to learn how to rest your fingers rest these here rest the thumb here okay so you'll see me like when I paddle I'm really I it comes naturally for me but I'm resting the thumb and this is just the thumb is holding and I'm pushing pushing with the palm like that and the fingers are just light boom over here all my force is here and the fingers the thumb is yeah it's wrapped so it doesn't fall around but it doesn't have the pressure on it. it's all on the fingers here my thumb is wrapped my fingers are wrapped but all the pressure is on my thumb so when I really want to rest my fingers because usually it's the hardest on the fingers I'll, I'll kind of wiggle my fingers on the top here and get some blood flowing if they get really sore because usually when you go upwind when you go upwind you're really grinding and you're really putting a lot of pressure that so, so what about sometimes I see your top hand? It almost looks, it almost looks like this with the thumb almost up. Up like this? No. It almost looks like, yeah, it's kind of almost looks like. Well, because I'm holding it like this, so I'm pushing, right? I'm driving mm. off the palm. I'm mm -hmm. using the palm right here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what you see. You see me driving off the palm. I'm not driving like this. You're driving off the palm. Okay, so show us that then actually. Show us that part where you talk about coming over and pushing against the wall. Instead of coming over the top, you got to push against the wall. I'm pushing What's off the wall. So you're... I'm pu if this is the wall right here, I'm pushing away from the wall. Okay. And what most people are doing is what? Coming over the top? Well, if you come over the top, then you're, then you're pushing the blade too far down. You want to just come forward. You can push a little bit. Because you're compressing, you're pushing the shoulder for it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come like this. You can come like this. Okay.